What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Why do I look like a police officer right now? No, but my God, I look like I'm about to go coach a damn little league team to, to eight undefeated seasons in a row. What the hell is this? But with that Alabama sun beaming down on you, man, what do you do? But nonetheless, man, today we're back with the WWE action figure toy hunt. Right now, we are at Target. And I've already been to Walmart, but I'm doing this after the fact. But I did want to do a quick little intro. We're going to be going on a little toy hunt today. I'm The only thing we're doing is going to look for Supreme CM Punk, really. I want to find the Supreme CM Punk. We're going to see that. And hopefully we find some good figures along the way. But I am going to hit up Target first. Then I'm going to proceed to Walmart. But here we are at Super Target, man. Should be a fun toy hunt. Uh, as far as Target toy hunts are concerned and what to find, I really don't have a dog in the fight. You know, a lot of the stuff I'm looking for right now is Walmart specific. But right now we are at Target and we're going to go in there and see what the hell is going on, man. So it should be fun. I'll see you guys on the aisle. Let's dive into it. WWE action figure toy hunt. Let's get it. And there she blows all the way over there. I'll see you guys on the aisle. I don't park this far away, by the way. I just do the intros and then I, I drive up closer because I don't know. I don't want to be all up in there and people looking at me, even though they probably are anyway. All right, boys, here we are. We've got Undertaker Legends figure. We got Elite 97 Xavier Woods board game or card game. Adam Cole Target exclusive, not bad. Got some Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns, Brother Love, Elite 97. Ooh, nice little deal right there. Go hit up your targets. Omos, Ronda Rousey, Chase Xavier again. So that's the second one in this case. Legends Undertaker. God, dude. Ooh, Ultimate Warrior. Not that I need it. Like, what do I do? I need it? No, I don't need that. Not terrible, not terrible, just, uh, I'm not really, uh, I'm not a fan, man. I don't think we have anything hiding back here. We got Wreck and Slam, Wreck and Slam, Monster Truck, we got the forklift. I mean, they don't have Jack. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably pick up the aisle here, because, I mean, gotta do, you know, do gil due diligence here if the target worker's gonna do it, but what have we got? Oh, man. John Silver in the house, man, John Silver in the house. I mean, this is the best, this is the best figure they got right here. Oh my God, man. I expected way more. I expected way more. But again, we're gonna clean up the aisle here because I mean, nobody else is gonna do it. We might as well make it look nice, you know? Always doing this. I usually do this at the end of the, you know, once I've had my look, go ahead and clean up the area. Make it look presentable, you know what I'm saying? Take, take a little pride in your effort and your joy. Take a little pride and effort in what you're doing, man. Doesn't matter what you're doing. If you're stocking shelves or you're NFL quarterback, man, do what you're supposed to do, man. Take pride in your work, but I don't see a dang thing here, man. I don't see a dang thing here. All right, guys, on the flip side of the aisle, we do have some new Marvel Legends here. Now, they are out of place, so we are going to go ahead and put those back where uh, where they are there. But Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. They are missing the the regular Spider-Man or the main one from this wave. We also have a ton of two-packs. These have been here for a while, too. Iron Man. We got some okay stuff going on here. We got the, you know, we got the Hawk Cycle or the Sky Cycle. We got another two pack here. Nothing I just need, man. Nothing standing out. I really want to buy these Hulk two packs down here. Like I really am on the fence about it. I really do want to buy these. I just, I'm waiting around because these have been here. These have been here. I've seen these for about a month or so, and they haven't moved. I do want this pack, but I think I'm gonna wait on it. Now, this is something I didn't expect. SH Figuarts Vegeta. Now, I already own three of these, okay? Because Vegeta's my favorite anime character and my favorite Dragon Ball Z character, but I don't know. I think they're like $34.99, which is an absolute steal, but I don't know if I want to buy those here today, or at least one of them. I don't know how long they're going to stay. I just feel like people aren't buying product, man. People are not buying like they were, obviously. Oh, snap. We've got Stone Cold Steve Austin under here. This, obviously, is going to be the ultimate edition that is paired with the Ultimate Warrior, you know, pinless joints, all those things. I just, ah, man. It's, it's, there's nothing else upgrade. It's just pinless joints. I don't see a reason to buy it, you know, but we do have some other stuff going on here if you guys want to take a look. A lot of the stuff I really don't collect. I feel like this figure's been at retail for 16 years. I guess they're just reissuing it, or maybe it's just been here forever, but a lot of this stuff, I just don't, I don't collect it. You know, I do, I, I, I do get the horror NECA figures, but everything else, ooh, this is a set I really like, man. The accessory set. I just love these little displays and stuff man like diorama pieces upgrade your displays i mean there's so many different things you can do with these we have the frankenstein set and then we do have the dracula set with the coffin i wonder how good this coffin is put the spider on somebody have a spider in a cage match got dracula got frankenstein some turtle stuff nothing just earth shattering here but you know it's it's cool to see i don't really care for much all right guys we're here on the aisle 
Shout out to my man, Justin, fellow collector, follower of the channel. Nice to meet him. We have the Ruthless Aggression Tory Wilson. Already got this, don't need that one. It was in front of it like this, and I was hoping that it would be Edge and JBL, and it's not, it's the it's the Rock twice. So that's a failure right there, hate to see that. But they also have Elite 102 in the house. We have three of these Austin Theories, but they don't have any of the Chase, unfortunately. Um, yeah, it's all the Captain America gear, which is a cool figure, but we don't need it. We have the Elite 102 Mick Foley. We have Sonya Deville. We have Elite 102 Edge. We have Raquel Rodriguez. We have another Edge. Anna J, Nyla. They're supposed to be getting rid of these, man. Nyla Rose, Nyla Rose, Anna J. Uh, Elite 100 in the house. You have Elite 101, or well, Elite 100, I'm sorry. Becky Lynch, another Becky Lynch. Um, did that guy snag that Stone Cold or that Stunning Steve? Or did he put it back? He, did he get it? A guy yeah, walked by yeah, and yeah, grabbed yeah, something. He, he did get it? Yeah. Dang, what a snag. Well, there was a Stunning Steve, but it got taken. We have Elite 103 in the house. First time seeing this at retail. We have Elite 103 Bobby. Elite 103 Roman Reigns, and they do also have Elite 103 Liv Morgan back here. Now, they don't have the Street Profits or the uh, the Stardust, unfortunately. I don't know if they even put them out. Maybe they didn't put them out, but Liv Morgan looks good here. Elite 103 Roman. Elite 100 Ray. They have like 80 of these. Elite 100 John Cena. Elite 100 Andre. It's a nice snag. Uh, and then they have like 60 Elite 100 Ray Mysterios, which we don't need. Don't need none of that. Don't need none of that, and they didn't have the rock, but and they also don't have the chase Andre, but the figure looks really, really good. Um, another Elite 103 Roman, top picks, and then they have 67 Jimmy Usos down here. One Roman, there's like 800 Jimmys and 800 Romans, and no Jay to go around. Poor Justin over here was looking for Jay, can't find Jay, and he, uh, he doesn't have the ultimates yet, so they sold out on ringside, unfortunately. So he's looking for those, but they have a ton of Roman, a ton of Jimmy, and that's it. And I think The Rock is the last one in this set, and I think Target has it, but I'm going to go to Target right after this, and I think he's going too, so we'll see there. But there's Jimmy, and then they restocked. What's kind of messed up is they had, did you see where they had The Fiend here? They had, they had, they had six of these Alexa Blisses, and then they had six of The Fiends, and now all The Fiends are gone. But uh, So, of course, you have a lot of those? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good figure. The Ultimate Fiend's really good, but that tells you people are getting it to scalp. Yeah. Bray Wyatt's passing, unfortunately. That's really messed up, but a lot of Alexa Bliss, really good figure, but uh, I think that is everything. Oh, we do have Basics. We have Basics down here. Terrible Sammy. Uh, okay, Indy Hartwell. Never seen that in person. Uh, a lot of Bianca, and then we have the suited Rollins in the paint, or not the paint, the blue, I'm sorry, which is really clean. I, I just don't like the suited body on Mattel, man. They're trash. So I'm not I'm not gonna buy that. And I'm not buying his wife either. I hate to see it. But that is everything. Alright guys, so we're back home after the toy hunt. Here we are in the filming station right here. And this is kind of just a uh I guess this is a phone shot. I do the uh, the toy hunts on my phone, if you guys are unaware. I do do the toy hunts on my phone because they're much easier. And so it's not like this guy's holding this big AF camera in the store and stuff like that. It makes it a lot easier, I have found. So that's why we do toy hunts on the phone. But here we are in the filming station. This is from our surgery video the other day. If you guys missed that, definitely go check that out. But there's the rock. But let's dive into everything we got on the toy hunt here today. And actually, we got the most brutal WWE action figure that you could find on a toy hunt. And that is nothing. We found nothing. We, we got absolutely nothing. Now, we did see some pretty cool stuff. I thought today was a pretty good toy hunt in terms of quality of stuff that we got, but we did not get anything. We did not, you know, we didn't find anything. We didn't find anything that I needed per se. There was some stuff that I was on the fence about, but nothing that I typically just wanted or that I am needing. Again, we were looking for the Supreme CM Punk, did not find that figure. And of course, there are other figures out there that I'm trying to look for, but we didn't find any of them. I, I really wanted to see some extra Street Profits, even though I have a couple pairs of the Elite 103. Really wanted another pair of those, but I didn't see any of those. So, that was an L, no chase stardust. That would have been a cool find, but yeah, this is just the stuff in the filming station right here. Now, as you guys can see, we're actually starting to kind of uh, yeah, organize the collection a little bit here. I plan on getting, I don't know how exactly I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to get like individual boxes, like small boxes, because originally all these figure boxes were kind of organized. Well, then between making videos and different videos and stuff like that for the channel, things got kind of really bunched up and stuff like that. So now I am going through and reorganizing. So we have like, you know, some figures 
just kind of organized here. You got Kurt Angles, Bret Hart's, Batista's, Randy Orton, stuff like that. You guys can see there. So I was kind of going through the boxes and trying to organize that way. It would be much easier to put up the shelves and stuff like that. But, you know, it's slowly but surely, man. I wish I could just dedicate a full day or just hours upon hours, like 12 hours, just sit in here and work as far as I possibly could. I think that would put a huge dent in it because this is only like a hour or so worth of kind of organizing the collection and things like that, but I wanted to give you guys updates. I'm just trying to or update and organize the room. I may make one video where we show the room bare empty, and then I do like a before and an after with the whole setup, and then it would show all of these clips in between of just kind of fixing it up and organizing, and I may get some B-roll footage or something like that, but yeah, we're, we're slowly making a dent in it, man. We're slowly making a dent in it, trying to get it, you know, progressively closer to the goal, but I thought today was a pretty good toy hunt. You know, I thought it was a solid toy hunt, enjoyable experience. Hope you guys did enjoy I'd love to know down in the comment section below what you would have purchased or what you may have, uh, you know, seen that I should have purchased or what the case was. But Elite 103 Bobby Lashley, almost considered him as well. Elite 103 Liv Morgan, stuff like that. But I think that is going to wrap the video up, man. Also, I wanted to say that I do have a really cool video coming up this week. I don't know if it'll be tomorrow or the next day or what, but it's going to be sort of some hidden gems in my collection. Now, this is going to be figures that maybe nobody's really seen before or figures that are hidden that maybe don't get the, the credit they deserve. Sort of the undiscovered or underrated kings of the collection that are just like, damn, that's a really good figure, but it doesn't get talked about much or, you know, you haven't seen it in a while, things like that. So this is like fix-ups, part swaps, things of that nature, but... That's going to wrap this video up, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Hope you guys did enjoy. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'm getting the hell out of here. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.